Hello friends, welcome to UPSC Logics and recently ISRO announced that it is working on a new technology where it will use the last stage of the PSLV rocket for space experiments. The new tech will be demonstrated in PSLV C-44 rocket that is going to be launched in January 2019. And friends, uh, space tech has come a long way since uh, its inception and today we are going to discuss Antrix or Antrix Corporation Limited which is the commercial arm of the Indian Space Research Organization and it handles all the commercial aspect of ISRO. So let us start. Antrix Corporation Limited was incorporated on 20th September 1992 under the Companies Act of 1956 and is a wholly owned government of India company under the administrative control of the Department of Space. It is the commercial arm of the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO as we know it and uh, it promotes and commercially markets the products and services that are emanated from the Indian Space Program. And in the year 2008, the company was also awarded the Mini Ratna status. Let us have a look at the objectives of Antrix. So number one is provisioning of communication satellite transponders to various users. What it does is it enables satellite communication service providers with necessary space segment capacity, predominantly covering the Indian region. Number two is providing launch services for customer sat satellites. So it provides uh, launch services for customer satellites and this is done via its uh, operational launch vehicles which are the PSLV and the GSLV. PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle while GSLV is Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicles. And both of these launches of PSLV and GSLV are done from uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota in South India. Number third is marketing of data from Indian and foreign remote sensing satellites. So it offers data from constellation of Indian remote sensing satellites to international customers. And it currently markets data and services from basically four of its satellites which are RISAT-1, ResourceSat-2, CarboSat-1 and OceanSat-2 satellites. Number four is building and marketing of satellites as well as satellite subsystems. So Antrix has the capability to configure, build and deliver satellites and satellite subsystems for different applications. So this is one of the job which, is it, which it is doing. Number five is establishing ground infrastructure for space applications and Antrix has a experience in heavy launches of over 70 satellites missions and 40 launches and it caters to mission operations and related support services for customer satellites. Number six is mission support services for satellites. So it provides turnkey end-to-end -end solutions in designing system engineering, procurement, installation, commissioning, operationalization, hosting, and other maintenance of state-of-art satellites. And these are the basic objectives of Antrix. So it has a legacy of over 30 years in satellite launching and it has extensive range of spacecrafts, separation systems catering up to 4000 kg payloads. So this is what Anthrax does. It basically provides one all solutions for launching a satellite into space for various countries, organizations, Every organization needs to have a vision and Antrix is no different. The vision of Antrix is to emerge as a globally significant space company fully utilizing the strengths of Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO and other entities in the field of space. 
let us have a look at the leaders who are actually at the hem of affairs of antriksh so the antriksh board of directors is comprised of reputed professionals with a long standing experience in space program administration academia and industry verticals so the functional directors which are the full time directors are shri s rakesh who is the chairman come managing director and shri sanjay kumar agrawal who is the director of our finance at antriksh and there are a couple of government nominated directors as well so number one is shri s kumara swami who is the joint secretary department of space and shri c m sane who is again a joint secretary finance for department of space till january 2018 antriksh the commercial arm of isro had launched 209 satellites for 29 countries under commercial arrangements with various organizations and the latest being pslv 43 that successfully launched hisis and 30 other satellites so the names of the countries that have used antriksh services are basically algeria argentina austria belgium canada chile czech republic denmark finland france germany italy indonesia israel japan kazakhstan latvia lithuania luxembourg netherlands norway republic of korea singapore slovakia switzerland turkey uae uk and usa so guys this is a very proud thing that even united states of america which has got nasa on its hem even they are using our services and uh, basically it is much cheaper to send up satellites via antrix than what nasa actually the cost which nasa bears so let us have a look at the revenue that was earned launching commercial satellites so in the year 2014-15 the revenue was 18 million euros then in 1516 the revenue was 55 million euros and in 1617 it was 34 million euros and 4.5 million usd so in 1617 you can see that uh, even usa used the services of antriksh to launch its own satellites antriksh also has got collaborations with different space organizations and other companies and these are airbus defense and space from france then comdev limited from canada space flight laboratories again from canada then sare satellite technology limited united kingdom then st electronics from singapore innovative space logistics from the netherlands planet incorporation from the united states of america and taiwak incorporation from usa and space flight flight industries from again from the united states of america so friends this was all about antrix which is the commercial arm of isro and thank you so much for watching and if you have liked this video do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications so you never miss a video uploaded by upsc logics so thank you so much and jai hind